welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to the 54th Annual Christmas Festival Parade. I'm Betty Campbell of Quincy Access Television, and I'm joined by Joe Shea, the city clerk. Welcome, Joe. Good afternoon, Betty. It's a gorgeous afternoon. It's about 55 degrees. Pretty amazing. It's amazing. Look, the crowds are fantastic. I think this is going to be a banner year in our 54th year, and the temperature's about 54 or 55, so. Wonderful. We have two other folks down on the street who will be uh, interviewing, as they have in the past, and that's Josephine Shea and Jackie, and we're going to throw it to you. Thank you very much, uh, Betty and Joe. A beautiful day, Josephine. I'd say over the last, I don't know how many years we've done this, the weather is absolutely beautiful. The, the holidays are in the air, and uh, just a great day so far. I can't remember it ever being this warm, so I think everyone's ready for a uh, great day. I have a feeling this is probably going to be one of the biggest crowds they've ever had because of the weather today. So we're ready for a real fun day. Celebrate with all these uh, children who look like they're really excited to be here. So let's uh, let's kick it off and have a great day. Well, it's all about kids, and uh, during the course of the day, we hope to find some of these kids, and you look at their faces, and that's really what parades are all about. So uh, we're all here for a great day. Betty and Joe are here, and uh, we're here for a, a, certainly a great time. Back to you guys. Thank you, uh, Jackie and Josephine. Well, Joe, uh, the 54th year, gorgeous weather, the crowds are enormous. Uh, what are we going to see today? We're going to see... Um... Well, we're going to see 97 different uh, events or 97 different bands, floats, characters, color guards. So we have a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, for some of our old of our favorites. Viewers. Well, some of these, uh, re reviewing the roster, and you'd notice some of these places... Some of these bands have been here 18 and 20 years. And, amazing, isn't and it? And some more, so right. it's pretty amazing that they have a loyalty to the Quincy Parade, and uh, we're very, very lucky. Yeah, it's a, t a difficult weekend, I would imagine, to travel like that for a band uh, out in the western part of the state to come all the way out here. But they, they do, and well, they've got a fabulous year for it. I think it's a sign that, you know, it's a great parade and that George White and the committee do a fabulous job. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we've been working since April. Right. Uh, <laughs> that's they when meet we all the time. <laughs> yeah, we picked the theme winner in April. Um, the theme, of course, this year is Christmas on Parade, I believe. Correct. Yeah. And the uh, lady was from Randolph. I think her name was Patricia O'Leary, who won the, the theme the contest. And we'll see her in a convertible coming along. I believe I can hear some, uh, some noise rings. coming our, our way. We're right on time. Right. The uh, parade does kick off at 12.30 from the Firestone, is that the area? Connor School in Hancock. Okay. And goes marching right down Hancock Street and will arrive in North Quincy, um, however long it takes, I guess, at which time when the parade is completed, there's an award ceremony, um, which will be rebroadcast this evening after the 7 o'clock uh, replay of the uh, parade. So you will get to see the award ceremony later this evening. Um, there's um, antique cars. Are you going to handle those, Joe? Well, you know, I was looking at some <laughs> of these cars here, and last year I... It's I, shocking how uh, what they consider correct. an antique. Correct. I remember <laughs> some of them when uh, they were an antique, so I'm, right. I'm getting a little nervous. But uh, mm. we have about 30 antique cars, which are uh, distributed all through the parade. Um, all right, you guys. I think the first car is a 1922 Model T Ford, so we go all the way from 1922 uh, up into the 60s. So uh, some of these cars are... Uh, <laughs> worth a lot, a lot of money, and the, the, the owners of them take so much pride, and we're so happy to have them with us every year. So uh, each division will have a number of these cars in, in spread out among the uh, different floats and everything. So uh, we'll get a good chance to see the cars. Okay. Uh, Joe, I don't ever remember seeing as many people as I'm seeing. Uh, uh, even down on the um, uh, island down there. Here comes. Well, again, I think people have chosen right, to, come, to out come out today, and, and enjoy certain it. the weather has something to do with it. So right. I can see the Quincy Police uh, Motorcycle Squad. So it must be the beginning. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're in view now. This would be the Quincy Police Department motorcycles. I believe we have our little motorcycle units distributed in there too. Weymouth. Oh, that's MBTA, true. Too. MBTA, Braintree. They were parked at the Santa 
uh, parachute uh, event yesterday, and uh, about six or eight of the motorcycles, and the children just love them. Well, you know, everyone comes to the parade, and this is the hallmark event of the weekend, but uh, as you know, we, the parade committee starts out with their festivities on Friday evening with the, with the lighting, and then yes. on Saturday, Santa arrives. He and his team parachute out of planes. That's, that's something. We'll have some great video of that probably. It's actually, you know, my grandson, his favorite is the Santa arriving. Right. Mine uh, too. <laughs> Santa arriving It's a little breathtaking. A Lieutenant Tom Paulus leading the Quincy motorcycle contingent. Yes, there are other town communities here. Yes. We see Cohasset, Braintree, MBTA police, Weymouth. Bikes are always an attraction. I yes. think they'll be putting them away soon. They don't use them too often in the winter, but they get a lot of work during the year. Now for County Sheriff's Department. Right. Well, the crowd is still building here. It is a fabulous day. We're in sweaters today and very comfortable. It's a great day to come out and enjoy the parade. We could mention to our viewers that the parade is just getting started, and of course, depending on the, the day and the movement and how long it takes to get to North Quincy, but there's still plenty of time to come out and see the parade. Absolutely. All through Wallison and North Quincy. Of course, sure. we're located at City Hall, so we're, we're very, very near the beginning. But if anyone is deciding to come out, there's still plenty of time. And It's absolutely delightful out for the end of November. I hope it lasts this uh, fuel heating season. Uh, Quincy Police Color Guard is next, along with a vehicle. Mm -hmm. well. There comes the Quincy Police Color Guard. No Chief Crowley today, I think. He had his knee done this year. I'm not sure he's he going to be walking. Yeah. Of course, every year the chief usually walks, and he walked last year. And I, That's I what he decided some, him, he told me. <laughs> right. I know he had a little bit of knee work done this year, so mm -hmm. it's probably impossible. But Christmas Festival Committee parade uh, banner in sight now. Next Tremendous amount of work that goes into putting this on, getting the banners, you know, all the, the little details that make it such a neat parade. We're so very, very fortunate. State Police Color Guard is next, mm -hmm. along with a couple of cruises. When was the last time you went to one of these? When my, I said when my kids were little, we went to every single parade. And now, you know, I finally got them back into the, uh, back into the cold again. What? What? Was this a one-time thing, Joe? <laughs> no way, Ryan. Every year, as long as he has grandchildren. Get your bag. Remember the wheelchair jack when a wheelie's out. You guys should have taken the tea from Braintree. Would you pack on that lot over there? It's a great spot. Thank you. I'm not sure. I can't see if that's Weymouth or Braintree. I believe that's the Braintree Police color guy. Here come some children crowd pleasers. Okay, the characters. Mickey, Minnie, Donald. Every year the characters are in the parade and... Uh, ah, the children are coming out to see them. I can tell you that's a long walk with all this equipment on and some of the people do a great, all of the people do a great job and uh, they walk the whole length of the parade and day like today gets pretty stuffy and warm. I, I, <laughs> yes, I'm sure it will However, be. However, the young people enjoy it, and yep. the children love it, of course. And the characters themselves really get into it and enjoy the, um, the fun of it. <laughs> hey, 
Oh, look at the <laughs> They're all coming to see Mickey and Minnie. Mm -hmm. There goes Minnie. Joe, the next contingent coming up is the Morissette Legion Post uh, contingent, I believe. West Quincy, West Post Quincy. 294. Mm -hmm. Kind of a mainstay here in the city of Quincy. And at one time was the largest American Legion Post in, this, in the state. Wow. It's still very, very active. Uh, this year's commander is Steve Dunley of Quincy. And, uh, the Morissette has renewed their interest and they've moved their home over to Liberty Street and they have a new post over on Liberty Street so they're as active as ever. Great. They have a color guard. Mm -hmm. Command is here. We have Sons of the American Legion, which is a younger group there. Building up is Harold DiMatteo from the Morissette Post. And our first band, kind of a famous one for us, Betty. Waltham American Legion Post 156. A famous, famous band. It's traveled all over the country and they've been over in this parade over 20 years, so they have been very loyal and quincy has been very loyal to them. So we see them every year and we see them as well in the, in the Flag Day Parade and Correct. other events around the city. They're under the direction of Larry Gilbo. Right. I think they arrive in the trolley, Joe, or I don't know whether the trolley carries them down. I know that it brings them back at the end of the parade to where their bus or begin, brings them back to the beginning, but uh, I suppose if someone uh, gets tired, they can hop on the trolley. Right. Captain John Dugan is here with us today in charge of all of the events for the Quincy Police. This is the Christmas Festival event sponsor group. As you can see, it's quite a few sponsors. Major sponsors, the Patriot Ledger, City of Quincy. Bank of Canton. Citizens Bank, Bank Quincy, Quincy Sun. 2000, Discover Quincy. Oh my goodness, it's just. O'Connor and Drew, CPA, just to name a few. Dependable Cleaners. Mm -hmm. D&B Tree Service. Rotary Club of Quincy. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot to put on a parade like this, and we thank the sponsors, all of them. Look at how much the children enjoy being part of it. The Boston City Club Band, founded in 1991. It participates in over 60 parades a year all over New England. They won the best marching band, band in, in the Holyoke St. Patrick's Day Parade wow. last year, 2005. The second large, that's the second largest St. Patrick's Parade in America, wow. Here comes Uncle Sam. Yeah. Sam's become a fixture. Of course, he's our own Uncle Sam from Quincy. Right. Sam Brownsville and his wife, Jean. Christmas Festival Committee. <laughs> I gather coming up shortly is the uh, theme winner. Again, it's a Patricia O'Leary. She's from Randolph. And this year's theme is Christmas on Parade. Right. Patricia's in this car, is she? Yes, I believe she is. In the, but the theme winner is in an Auburn four-door sedan, 1936, is that? 
1936 Auburn. Driven by Dan Winters, mm -hmm. Trisha O'Leary, who is our theme winner again this year. <laughs> what a gorgeous car. I know. It's amazing the work that goes into these right. cars, too. She's talking to Joe. Mm -hmm. Joe Pearson of the committee. One of the committee members. Joe's yep. a long time volunteer. Does a great job. Um, coming up now is a banner remembering some of the past uh, members in the committee and John Noonan certainly was well known throughout Correct. the city for not only his parade participation but many many activities uh, council and aging uh, chairperson I believe for many years and senior Olympics and John was a very active person in the community and we, we miss him dearly Trying to think, this is the Spirit of America Fife and Drum Corps, I believe. Mm -hmm. My eyes are not failing me. <laughs> this is a new event, a new group for the parade. They play wooden, keyless fifes, and rope tension drums. Their uniforms are historically authentic replications worn by the U.S. Infantry in the World War of 1812, oh. according to our wow. script here. Based in Orleans, Mass., the, night of the site of a notable skirmish with the British during the War of 1812. Hmm. Been marching parades and musters throughout New England since 1980. And we're here to enjoy them. Okay, we're going to the mayor now. Hi, Mayor. Hi, Joe Welcome to the 54th annual Quincy Christmas Parade. We're already, huh? Wonderful day. I mean, it is looks, looks, looks like the biggest crowd I've ever seen here today. Wonderful time. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, enjoy the day. I know you're going to. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and all your family, Mayor. Thank you Enjoy so the parade. Thank you. Bye-bye. Back everybody. to you, Joe and Betty. Thank you. Okay. Here the comes mayor, the Mayor. The, council, <laughs> the parade committee. Yeah, school committee. See, the Mayor's running. He's in better shape right. than I am. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. This is our park department float. Right. Is this our first float? Float number one. All Very right. Easy. Uh, some park department, isn't that cute? Park department float, a number of young people on it, and our park director, yes. Tom Koch. Mr. Koch? They do a great job in great our park job. department. Oh, the parks look great. It's culminated this year by the opening of the new the stadium. Stadium and uh, facility. I was reading the Morning Globe and I see that they're going to play the uh, Super Bowl, some of the Super Bowl playoffs right here at our own yeah, stadium. It's, it's a Tuesday night playoff thing and I think three or so uh, Super Bowls on the following Saturday. Yeah, Weymouth and Marshfield are playing there this week. This and, is uh, antique car number one. It's a Model T Ford 1922. Wow. Car number two. 1927 Model T pickup. Mm -hmm. Owner of the vehicle, Roger and Karen Nice. They do take wonderful care oh, yes. of these vehicles. I think the nice weather um, allows them to come out too. Sometimes if the weather's iffy, they, they keep their vehicles in, but we'll probably be seeing quite a few today. We should also mention to the right of our uh, set here, the first night buttons are on sale. If you want to enjoy first night, you can grab your button at, a, I believe, a reduced rate today and um, enjoy the f uh, activities um, on first night. 
Yes, first night's become a regular event over the last 12 or 15 years. And yes, it has. Kind of ends the holiday season here in the city. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, rain or shine or snow, we yeah. have first night. And it's yeah. been a very, very great success. Yep. <coughs> okay. This is our 103 electricians pipe band. They've been with us for eight years. All members of this band are construction electricians affiliated with the IBEW, Local 103 of Boston. I might add that Local 103 has a very large Quincy group. The president of Local 103 is our own Mike Moynihan from House Neck, oh. as I believe his father and grandfather were president of 103 electricians. Okay, Joe, I think we're gonna go to Josephine. She has some children she's gonna say hello to okay. right now. Go ahead, Josephine. Hey, Betty and Joe, we have um, some um, parade goers here this morning or this afternoon that want to wish everyone uh, who came to the parade a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So on the count of three, can everyone say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year? You ready? One, two, three. Okay, well, thank you. Let, maybe I can get a few names here. Can you tell me your name? Oh, this is Julia. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Avery. What's your yeah. name? Anthony. Kelsey. Okay, thank you. Back to you, Betty and Joe. <laughs> thank you, Joe. I see George. The director is here, the chairman. Oops. Getting things thrown at us. We're getting messages. <laughs> right. That's good. Uh, in, directly in front of us is the. Um, I can't reach it. Joe Shea. Um, electrician's pipe band. And. Oops. Joe got a message from. Got a message from George. This oh. is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Again, George. Couldn't do it without George, and he's right. been no, so diligent. Right. Parade seems to be moving again. Oh, yeah, and the electricians are gonna start up again. There we go. Float, oh. Easton, no, I'm sorry, this is D&B tree. Float not number two. I'm not sure uh, whether it's. Don't see a sign, but. Oh, there's an Easton bank. Oh, it's an Eastern bank float, right. I'm sorry. A little bit out of order. But they're out of order here a little bit. Yeah. Or we're out of order, George, I, uh, Joe, well, I'm not sure. That's, that's impossible. Or now I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay, that's a great looking say. float. Christmas on parade. Mm -hmm. Mary left Boston Lefty the bagpipes after they cut him open for the joint of the show. He almost died at the kitchen table trying to blow the thing up. <laughs> Coming into view is the Plymouth American Legion Post, number 40, in their color guard. What you're hearing is the Natick Legion Post Band. Just a little leadership of camp. And the city of Quincy welcomes Wally the Green Monster. Right. Red Sox mascot. He's been to QATV too, you know. <laughs> Hi, Wally. And that seems to be, is that Dominica driving That's the uh, Mrs. Coughlin, Dominica Coughlin driving 
I'd say that's about a four four two. About a sixty two or sixty three Oldsmobile four four two. Wow. And that's certainly not an antique, is it, Joe? No. No. It's, a yeah, nice yeah. looking car. <laughs> This should be the city of Cambridge Correct. color guard. As long as I can remember, the city of Cambridge has been sending its color guard to operate. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Yeah. And who's this coming down the street here? This is our very own Rick Cobb, and I don't know how long Rick has been here, but I can't remember when he wasn't here either. And I think ja uh, Jackie's Jack going to interview him. I think Jackie's going to interview him. Go to Jackie. Very special guest right now, Mr. Carbon. How many years? And welcome everybody in Quinn. Well, this is a great event every year. I'm so happy to do it. There's a lot of people here today. It's a beautiful day. And I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I think I've done this 25, I don't know how many years. But you've been there every year. Thank you, Mr. Carbon. Good luck. Happy holidays. Back to you, Joe. I know we talk about this every year, Betty. But how'd you like to walk all the way I no. like the Hancock Street on those stilts. <laughs> Again, Rick does a great job. He certainly does. And he dances up yeah. the street, too, even better. I, I, I think this is the Boston Police Gaelic column. But it I'm, is the Boston Police Gaelic column. Founded in 1972 and has been in the parade for the past nine years. Wonderful. Boston Police Gaelic Column. This is a uh, perennial favorite, the Calamore Clydesdales, and they sent us some information this year. Horses are eight horses. They average 2,200 pounds, and they're 18 to 19 hands tall. I know that's a, a horse term, and I right. that's how you measure them. Right. The Each them. horse consumes 20 to 30 pounds of hay, up to 24 quarts of grain, and 15 gallons of water each day. Wow. They're imported from Scotland and England. Pretty amazing. Right? Yes. Yeah. This company, I know it's, I think it's a Holbrook-based company, and mm -hmm. they've been devoted to parade for over 30 years. Yes. Okay, here comes our Quincy Partnership Group. I see attorney Rich Barry, Mark Bertman, uh -huh. Tom Galvin, Sandy, Sandy Williams, Williams, Donnie Uvanetti. Partnership, as you know, uh, uh. raises a lot of money for the city for various civic events, mm -hmm. various statues, and our own statue yeah. of Abigail and John Quincy were paid for by funds raised by the partnership, and they have their own float here. The president of the partnership, of course, is our own Ed Cohane. And He's there here. There he is with George. Uh, Bob Galligan. He's hiding under a Santa Oh, hat. I see him over yeah. there. Yeah, the children. Look at the slacks on Mr. Bertman. <laughs> Quite festive. We're going to go now to George White and Jackie Ramo. We're here with the man behind, uh, the man who puts everything together, George White. George, this is like Florida weather. You must, uh, you may be in Florida or Quincy at this time, but it's a great day. This is super, and a great day for the parade, a great day for the people. You can sit and enjoy and be comfortable. So you're going to not go to Florida now and stay up here in this beautiful weather? Well, no, I think come January I'll hit Florida for a few months. You, you have to have that rest and relaxation. Once again, a great parade, a great day, and thanks for all your work over the years from all the people in the city of Quincy. Super. Thank all you right. very much. Back to you, Joe. Betty. Thank you. A couple of more antique cars. Number three and number four. Yeah, but I think... Uh, I don't 
Nein, nein, nein. Okay. Okay. I'm Mackle at Heart of Mary. Yeah. See, I told you, still River, Massachusetts. Well, the million dollar question today is <laughs> what part of Massachusetts? Where's Still River? Well, we'll go on the internet when we get okay, home, right? Okay, we're going we're gonna to figure this out. Right. And this band has been here a good long time. Mm -hmm. For around 10 years, uh, with several first place awards. Correct. They've been together for 19 years. folks if you want to take another look at this parade it'll be replayed at 7 p.m. Uh, and included in that will be the award ceremony which uh, happens at North Quincy High right after the parade floats uh, color guards and bands are all judged and uh, awarded prizes Brian Conley of the Sheriff's Department driving the last hmm. cruiser This is the Tortorelli Music Vehicle from the Worcester Power Company. Old fashioned calliope. It's an excellent shape. Oh, it's gorgeous. is our poster contest winners for grades one to three in the Quil Quincy Elementary School. Mm -hmm. They're riding in their Chevrolet mm -hmm. around the 1957, I believe. I think you're right. That we can remember. <laughs> Each year, the, the elementary school children participate in, in yeah. posters so, for the parade. Right. And they, committee judges and they can be seen throughout Quincy in different uh, storefronts the winners and some of the runners up how's neck American Legion post 380 our own house neck Legion of you now is the Joseph Case High School Band, 2005 uh, Quincy Division first place champions. Case High School, Cardinals Marching Band. I think we know where Case High School comes from. Fall River. Going off the limb here and say Fall River. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> band you see, you always see the parents marching along and the manager of the band and other people that devote countless hours, mm -hmm. the equipment, and they do a lot of work. This lady here with all her equipment. Mm -hmm. The Elf Express. Sacred Heart School, here. North Quincy. 
<laughs> Look at all the elves. Wow. That is a good throw. Well, number five antique car is supposed to be a 20, yeah, it looks like a 1922 station wagon to me, Joe. Model T. Yeah. Why it wooden wheels. Mm -hmm. This is a 1912 right behind it. Wow. Another Model T. And they're followed by the sun. Our Shriners, our Aleppo Shriners. Right. They come fully prepared. <laughs> In motorized vehicles, division, yeah. They have 30 clowns. They have, I don't say, very few groups uh, participate as, as much as the Shriners do in the, all over Massachusetts and all these parades. Right. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, they arrive in their motorized divisions. Right. Unbelievable. Though. Yeah. <laughs> they bring with them clowns. Mm -hmm. Mass, I guess, is their home base. Mm -hmm. They're absolutely working the crowd here. is what brings them. Yeah, they bring their whole crew in their big body foot trailer here to wow. haul all their equipment. They put all their all their all their motorized vehicles right in yeah. there and off they go. Story, East Bridgewater High. High school band, East Only Bridgewater Mass. Another ten year participant. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Come on, I need some TV. Go right here. <laughs> Betty, all the bands are judged down by the by the stadium, or is it no, uh, I'm not sure. I think the bands are judged um, somewhere on uh, near Cottage Ave and so oh, forth. Oh, okay, in the And downtown. the floats are judged at, before they actually go out. Okay. Our own wooded school. Right. Years perennial, perennial favorite. They put a lot of effort into their floats every year, and this year seems to be uh, the same. Yeah, they really did a great job.
Jack, we're going to throw to Jackie, and he's going to talk to some children. Here we go. Jackie. Okay. Okay, we are here with an outstanding group of young people coming from all over the world, right? Where'd you guys come from? Plymouth. Plymouth, all right. How about you guys? Weymouth. Weymouth, all right. Well, who are you here to see today? Santa. That's one, okay. Yeah, how about you? Are you having a good time today? <laughs> no? oh, okay, someone's coming? Tell me someone's coming, I gotta stop. But how about a Merry Christmas cheer from everybody on three? Ready? One, two, three. Yay! All right, great job. That's what it's all about. Back to you. Job, Jackie, that was a good job. The kids did great. More post to contest winners, yep, grades the, four and five. All right. Bit of a, another float, I guess, coming up, number six. Daddy, give me a balloon for $20. That thing for five dollars. Okay. Is this Jack Conway's float? Peace on Earth. No, this is the uh, concerts in the park. I see. Hi. Another antique car coming our way. Number nine. Huh. Getting away from the Fords here. This is a Chevrolet, 1931. Ah. Ford door. Look how beautiful it's kept. Wow. Followed by number 10, an Oldsmobile, 1903. Wow. I think that's the oldest one we have, 1903. Mm. Unbelievable. Yeah. Now is the Jack. This is the Jack Conway. Right. They've been in the parade for many, many years. Participated in the parade for more than four decades, Joe. Unbelievable. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Smokey will be here. He's coming. Oh, you're Smokey. That's right. You retired. I'm sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, they got their children out. <laughs> 20 years participation. Wow. Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys. <laughs> homes for everyone. We have homes for everyone. That's great. Mm -hmm. Me up, Joe, is that crime fighter uh, McGruff? Southbridge High Marching Band, mm -hmm. the Marching Pioneers. Patrolman Roger White driving this nice new Mustang. Yeah. Followed by the Southbridge High Band. Mm Seventy Oldsmobile 442 Cutlass. 442, I guess that's how you say 442. it. 442. Right, right. Similar to the one that came by earlier. Mm -hmm. 
I was off on the air, I think, if that's a 70. Wow. Number 12 is a Buick, 1936. That's a gorgeous one, huh? Mm. Next float to arrive is another, I believe, Concerts in the Park float. Concert in the Park, float number nine, that's right. Mm -hmm. The kids. Yeah. <coughs> a red Chevy pickup truck, 1951. That is very red. Very red and very good shape. Mm -hmm. Followed by a 1956 Chevy convertible. Mm -hmm. Two-tone. Mm. I'll see Betty if you saved all your old cars. I think my dad had a car like that. <laughs> Other band. The Douglas High School, another band that's been in the parade over 20 years. Douglas High School Tigers. That's a large band. Band so far. Mm. So there's a short uh, gap here. We can tell folks that the uh, parade is still ongoing, and if you got yourself to North Quincy, you'd probably be still able to see, see most of it. Right, right. It's um, a gorgeous day to come out and see a parade. And uh, everything's moving along. With yeah, I don't think I've ever seen crowds like this before. No, it's really there's really something. But the weather is really something too, don't you think? It's very very um, enticing to come out and just enjoy the weather today. The sun feels warm, super. Keep our fingers crossed we can go like this all winter, but. <laughs> I'd be happy. <laughs> uh, I think this is the Marines okay, we're gonna, next. Yeah, I think we're gonna uh, pass it over to Jackie and Josephine who have some children lined up to say hello. First, we're going to ask a few of them, where, where are you from today? Where are you from today? Do you know where you're from today? No. No? no. Where are you from, sweetheart? Braintree. Braintree? Uh, 
Lincoln. Lincoln, Lincoln, Mass. Okay, well, we have a lot of people here from all over the state of Massachusetts, and they want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. On the count of three, one, two, three. Merry Christmas! Thank you, Jackie and Josephine and children. Good job. The U.S. Marine uh, Toys for Tots uh, are arriving. This is a staple also. I'm sure they've been in the parade since the beginning. We also have the second Marine Division Color Guard accompanying them. Mm -hmm. As you know, the Marines collect toys throughout the holiday season for redistribution to needy people right. all over New England. It's become a very huge charity. It has. I think we're going to have a moment to, looks like, okay. Uh, yeah, Jackie has a Marine he's going to interview. Take it, Jackie. Joe and, Joe and Betty, uh, the Marine Corps are always a big part of the parade here in Christmas. Uh, is this your first time here? And please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your participation here. Yes, sir. This is my first time here. I'm a uh, staff sergeant foreman. I'm the Toys for Tots coordinator down at uh, Fort Devens, but we handle the greater Boston area. First, I'd like to say thanks to uh, the wonderful people of uh, Quincy. This is truly amazing, and uh, we really appreciate it, sir. Well, it's great to have you here, as always. In the past, the Marine Corps has always been, and all the armed service have been a, a great part of the parade. So welcome to Quincy, and have yourself a great day. Appreciate it, sir. If I, if I may, I'd like to say uh, that your support is still greatly needed. We service about 50 to 60,000 kids in the greater Boston area. And uh, to a lot of families, this is uh, how the Marines, you know, bring Christmas to them. So please, you know, do not feel that uh, it is unappreciated. It's very appreciated. Not only the families, but the Marines Thank appreciate you. too, sir. Thank you, sir. Happy holidays. Thank you, sir. Okay. Back to Joe and Betty. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, they're doing all their fundraising right here. Right. Right on the street. This is great. Right. right. Did a good job. Yeah. Spokesman is a uh, full time Marine station at Fort Devens. And all these Marines it, are here. Yeah. It, it amazes me that they, the generosity of people coming out to a parade, remember, to uh, bring toys for young people. The bands are full of toys. People bring them yeah. to the parade to donate. I bought these huge turkey balloons for Thanksgiving yeah. for all the kids that were coming to my house. I mean, they were absolutely gorgeous. They were this big. The <laughs> okay, and now we have another color guard, I believe. I think it's the Silver Dolphin. The Silver Dolphin's drill team. Great. From, from Broughton, Broughton, Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. Great. Directed by Master Chief Thomas Grove. The unit is made up of full-time students. These are submarine techno electronic training people at the Groton Submarine Base. Precision drill team. They always put on quite a good show. Yes, and they're getting a good hand here. I think there was a pause to make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, here we go. <clears throat> Probably moving along terrifically, mm -hmm. though. We're one hour into the parade, and... Oh, 
Oh, or is this the D and B tree service float? Okay. We had them listed earlier, but yeah. huh. celebrating a decade of professional tree care. East of Massachusetts, the second consecutive year they participated. This looks like a 54 Chevy. 54 Chevy. La Bel Air. Yeah. Two tone. Yes, yeah, very nice. And 65 Buick. Driven by Pat Joyce. Hmm. Pat's a frequent visitor at our city council meetings. Uh huh. Pat's retired from Marymount. Attends all Quincy City Council meetings. He's an active participant. We're happy to see him there. Mm -hmm. Now we have the David Prouty High School Marching Band. Uh, been with us certainly well over 20 years. They're usually uh, uh, quite a contender. <coughs> Award winner of many years, mm -hmm. most recent being 03, Spencer Mass. Now we have the Coca Club. Club number. Oh, where's Santa? <laughs> Look at Santa's going down the chimney. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> that's a good, it's very cute. It's the Coke Club. MBTA Police Department, our transit police department, of course, is. Always a participant and so familiar to us in Quincy because we have four transit stations and uh, we see our transit police every day here, particularly at the Quincy Center Station. I think it's a full-time assignment for a couple of them, so mm -hmm. those of us at City Hall and around the square get to see the transit police all the time. Wow, this is a, quite this a vehicle, their, huh? uh, Incident command vehicle. It's quite a vehicle. Mm -hmm. All the high tech equipment, I'm sure. Next band coming up is the New Bedford High School. Senior High School Senior band, high New school. Bedford, the Whalers. little wind here, Ben. Yeah. Well. Oh, damage. Good. Uh, this is antique car number 19. Yeah. Number 19. What do you think? Uh, Chevy? I think it's a Chevy, but I don't think it's a, Yeah, it could be a 52, but it seems, oh, that seems a little older. Of course, we're getting... We're getting back into the 50s here with the Lincoln. I think that's a 59 Lincoln Mark IV. Wow. Paul Bates, our own Paul Bates. 
Falls Center Street Auto Body in the car wash down on Center Street. Mm -hmm. That's quite a car. Yeah, huh? 59. And this next vehicle is. Uh, now that, is that a Ford? That's a Ford, and that's Paul Bates' car, too, a 1946 Ford. Okay, J uh, Joe, we're going to Josephine now with the uh, Quincy High. Uh, Homecoming King. Queen. Oh, oh, King right. and Queen. Okay. Betty and Joe, welcome to the 2006 Quincy High School Homecoming King and Queen. I'd like you to introduce yourself to all of, to everyone on Quincy Cape. Hi, I'm Steve Conley. And I'm Krista Davis. Steve Conley and Krista Davis, congratulations to you both. And we can't send you off until we get a special hello and a Merry Christmas from our high school principal, Mr. Frank Santoro. On behalf of Ms. McNeil, our vice principal and Quincy High School family, we wish you a happy holiday. Thank you both. Bye-bye, Maureen and Frank. Enjoy the parade. Congratulations. Back to you, Betty and, and Joe. Thanks, Josephine. Congratulations to I got the Quincy principal. High. Principal doing the driving today. Yeah. Combined Quincy North, Quincy High, Quincy Vogue Tech Band. Mm -hmm. Quincy High cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. has grown in the past few years, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Guy Caruso, one of our teachers, Mr. Keneally, worked very hard with the kids. Both Quincy High cheerleaders coming into view. I see someone running down the street. North Quincy King and Queen. Yeah. I think we're going to go to Jackie Raymer now and uh, the North Quincy High School King and Queen. Betty, we're here with Betty and Joe. We're here with uh, Dan Coughlin, the chauffeur for our uh, King and Queen from North Quincy High School. Welcome, guys, uh, from North Quincy. Uh, let us know who you are. All right, I'm Chris Baker. I'm a senior up at the school. Uh, go North. <laughs> I'm Bridget Coleman. I'm a senior in Go North. <laughs> How have the uh, greetings been here? Is everybody friendly today? Everyone's friendly. It's a good scene. Yeah. Well, you're heading down to your territory now, so it'll be a good afternoon. Oh, yeah. You're in good hands with Mr. Coughlin here. Always. All right, Joe and Betty, back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Dean Coughlin. Mm -hmm. uh, next float is the Quincy High School. Has eleven. Mm -hmm. Ryan. Ryan. What are you doing? Hello, you gonna talk in the mic? <laughs> Say hello. Quite a creative little float coming on. Look at the horse. Yeah. That's cool. Uh. You know, it looks like it's easy to do, but. It isn't. It isn't, <laughs> and it takes a lot of man hours. Right. I was at occasion to stop at the park department garage yesterday, and uh, everyone's working away on the floats. Just yeah. Scurrying around, a lot of work. A lot of coordination. Yep. The 
this the Quincy High float? I believe it is. Yeah. Look at they did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Weymouth High School and Wildcats watching the band. Weymouth went right. back to one high school, Betty. They had a Weymouth North and a Weymouth right. South. Right, I remember. They went back to one. Makes it a pretty big school. I bet it does, yeah. Weymouth, of course, is a city now. And, uh, they're playing in the Super Bowl here in Quincy on Tuesday. Yes, that's going to be quite an event. Finals, so mm -hmm. good tribute to their football program. Do you know who they're playing? They're playing against? Marshfield. So Marshfield, oh. Little all South Shore uh, event we're going to have Tuesday at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the band will be there. Yeah. Little kids were running out. Oh, after the characters. Yeah. Is that uh, Dora? I, you know, you got me there, Joe. <laughs> Is that Dora the Explorer? I oh, think it might be. It's my grandson talking to her. Uh, <laughs> not quite up on all these things yet. Uh, okay, here comes the Quincy Credit Union float. I see Betty Burke, Vice President of the Credit Union, here with us. Mm -hmm. Do a terrific job. Yeah. Quincy Credit Union, always anxious, always helpful. Right. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's Dora. Okay. Okay? I'll trust you on Not that. Not good at it, but grandchildren. Wow, they did a neat job on the yeah, uh, Quincy Credit Union. <clears throat> now it's such a growing operation. The yeah. Union. Next in our camera view, I believe, is the Bishop Henderson. Henderson High School. They've been with us for over five years now. They're quite large. Club. There 
Quite impressive, the yeah. 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 Service for the city of Quincy. This is the Dedham. Is that Dedham or Needham? Needham. It's an antique Needham fire engine. Seventy-three is the date on the side of it. It looks pretty good to me. Yeah. This is the Quincy Business Association. Load. QBA, if it's known downtown. Come Santa. Ah, yes. This is what the children have been waiting for. Doesn't Santa look pleased to be here in Quincy? Firefighter <laughs> Ernie Arietti, president of our local firefighters association. Welcome, Santa. There's Sparky. Well, that was quite a parade, Joe, huh? Moves right along, an hour and 20 minutes. It's yeah. unbelievable. Unbelievable, and quite a lot we've seen today. And this is Betty Campbell, and I want to say thank you to all the volunteers who helped put this uh, parade down the street, and all the volunteers at QATV who have helped bring it to you at home. Uh, again, we will replay it, uh, the parade at 7 this evening, followed by the award ceremony that will be happening at North Quincy High immediately following that. And Joe, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Betty. And I think we're going to have a few words from Jackie and Josephine. And take it away. Well, Josephine, another beautiful day. The weather was great. The kids, the smile on the faces of all the kids. Uh, without a doubt, another great event here in the city of Quincy. Well, Jack, it's my pleasure to do this parade along with you and Joe and Betty. Just want to take this uh, opportunity to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I just was made a junior firefighter, so I'm all set. You are ready to go. So once again, uh, to reiterate that, happy holidays to everybody, the city of Quincy, especially all the people that work with us today in the parade, and uh, happy holidays to everybody. Back to Joe and Judy. Back uh, Judy. <laughs> Betty. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie and Josephine. Uh, once again, this is Betty Campbell of Quincy Access Television with Joe Shea. Joe, my pleasure. Always a great job. And again, thanks to everyone, as Josephine and Jack just said, the 
the parade is, uh, couldn't be done without the volunteer help and all right. the city employees that work on this and all the merchants. Right. And uh, George White and his crew, they, they, they continue to amaze everyone. They do a fantastic job. I'd like and to thank everyone. I, from Quincy Access Television, I wish everyone a happy holiday season. We can start the uh, ceremony. We have a lost cell phone if anybody would like to claim it. It'll be on this table a little later. As I said, good afternoon and welcome to the 54th annual ceremony of the Quincy Christmas Festival Committee. Before we begin the ceremony, I would like you to join me in a moment of celebration of a life of Officer Jamie Cochran, who saved, served the city of Quincy with honor and dignity until the accident on September of 2006. <clears throat> Jamie was always here to celebrate this day and to protect many of the thousands who join us in our city on this special day. We thank, we thank his loving wife, Maria, who is with us today as well as his family and the extended police family for sharing this remarkable police officer with us. May I ask you to stand and offer a moment of silence for Officer Jamie Cochran. If you'll be seated. On behalf of the Quincy Christmas Festival Committee, I would like to read this plaque which will be presented to Maria Cochran in memory of uh, Jamie. The Quincy Christmas Festival Committee presents this plaque to Maria Cochran in memory of her beloved husband, police officer James Cochran, for his dedication in the interest of public safety for the thousands of spectators attending the Quincy Christmas Festival Parade. Prevented, presented this 26th day of November 2006, George White Chairman Quincy Festival Committee. If I may ask you to come up, Maria. At this point, I'd like to uh, continue with the ceremonies and ask uh, George White to come up. Well, I can say as far as today goes, you people just continue to put on such a great show 
every year. There is no question in my mind that the number of people that attended today's parade probably exceeded most, or maybe the most that we've ever had. We look at every once in a while the spots along the roadway that we wouldn't have people sitting and watching. And today they weren't many of them, and they are also very deep. Also, the, I read the band and I walked by many of them. And the music and the style that you created in going down Hancock Street, being the professionals that you are, really pleased, I would say, close to 200,000 people today. And the city of Quincy wants to thank you very, very much. We hope that you in the audience, and I also speak for the festival committee and the city of Quincy, that we enjoy you being with us all of these years, and probably some of you go back for many of them. We enjoy being with you, and we also hope that you enjoy the work we try to do to create what you want when you get to Quincy, and I thank you for that. Uh, we'll now move into uh, a couple of presentations. One, each year we have a parade theme in which the general public sends in their feelings as to what they would like to see it to be. This year we had roughly about 200 to two, 250, rather, to 260 in terms of a parade theme. And what we do after we decide the winner, we do give the winner a token gift of our appreciation because we, we like the theme. And we also have the winner ride along Hancock Street in a convertible with an identity sign in front of it so people could see how the public plays a part and what the uh, committee puts together as far as the overall theme is concerned. This year's Christmas theme, a parade theme was Christmas on Parade. And it was presented, uh, uh, it was sent in by Mrs. Patricia O'Leary of Randolph, Mass. And I don't know how many hours that Patricia put into it in trying to determine what it was going to be, but certainly it was right on target and gives what we look at as well, how the float people can build floats and have all these ideas they can put together in terms of the imagination and the building of the float. So we appreciate Patricia's efforts, and we want to congratulate her, congratulate her on being the theme winner. And we would like uh, Patricia to come up and accept the gift uh, from the association, from the Christmas Festival Committee. Is Patricia here? Hmm, she was outside. Uh, well, I guess, uh, Paul, she was sitting out, I thought she was coming in. She was sitting out in the lobby. If she may be out there, I don't know. If she is, we can recognize her, but we'll move on in the meantime. Uh, certainly, when I went to the reviewing stand and we looked at what you people should see when you come in the street, there were an awful lot of people on it the mayor and everyone else, and I want to pass on the feelings they expressed as you people went by that area. Just a super parade, and certainly appreciated all the efforts and all the fun, hopefully, that you have and when we have this, situ this circumstance every year. We are very, very pleased. Uh, we'll just... I don't want to... Why don't I... Uh, move on and I'll turn the program back to Paul Kennedy for the other awards. But again, I just want to indicate very strongly, I have been on this committee for 40 years and I have been chairman of the parade for 25. And I do it for the same reason you do it. You see those people coming down the street, you see those smiles and you see those faces and you see those children and you see the costume characters combined with everything. Thanks for the great show, Paul. Patricia, as a 
token of the festival committee appreciation for you submitting the winning entry in terms of the theme, Christmas on Parade, the Christmas Festival Committee would like to present this to you as a token of our appreciation. I, I don't know whether you want to say anything about the number of hours you've probably put into thinking about this, but congratulations. Thank you. Would you like to say a few words? I'd like to thank my mother, Joan O'Leary of Quincy, for encouraging me to imply. Thank you. Okay, Super, we'll, we'll move in to the rest of the awards and then we'll get to the bands and it won't be too long for here. Paul. Thank you, uh, George, and we will uh, continue on with the ceremony. First off, I'd like to thank George White, our chairman. <clears throat> George will start tomorrow morning on next year's parade, believe it or not. He's been doing it for many, many years. So uh, we really appreciate his efforts and Every year he says, maybe this is the last, and that's not going to happen. George is going to keep on going. <laughs> I'd also like to thank uh, Mayor William Phelan for his participation in this parade. If, if the city, uh, if he didn't uh, do so much for it and, and approve it, this would never take place. So again, I'd like to thank Mayor William Phelan for his support and his help throughout the year in allowing this to take place today. We're going to move forward with the float awards and we're going to start with the last first in the non-commercial category. Um, so the fourth prize this year is $250 and that will go to Quincy Partnership. If there's anybody here from Quincy Partnership that will accept that award. The third place, I, I kind of feel we're not going to have a lot of uh, folks here with us today. Uh, we have the third place which is, is a $500 uh, check and an award which goes to the Quincy Parks Department. Is there anybody here from Quincy Parks? I wonder if I said if you're not here you can't collect the money. Would they, would they be here pretty quick? Probably, huh? The next, the second prize and a, uh, a certificate and a check for $750 to the Coke Club. Is there anybody here from the Coke Club? We have a first prize for $1,000, which will go to Quincy High School. And I know there's folks from Quincy High here. Anybody here from Quincy High School? Boy, we could really make out if uh, we didn't have to release those checks. The grand prize, which is also the coveted prize, which is the Father Thomas Tanny Trophy, and has a cash prize of $1,500, will go to the Woodward School. Ready? 
Our next category today is we have the commercial float winners. The uh, commercial float winners will start with the best commercial float, uh, which receives the festival committee trophy, which is Jack Conway. He did a great job this year. Great. back momentarily to the non-commercial. You remember I said if you're not here, you don't get the money. Quincy High is here. Yeah. Representative from Quincy High School. Oh. commercial category is the best Quincy float and the mayor's trophy and unfortunately the mayor is not here but that would go to Quincy Credit Union But not least, if I could hold your attention, please. The best specialty float, which is the Chairman's Trophy, would go to D&B Tree Service. Is there anybody here from D&B? I would like to now turn it over to Joe Nee with the Band Awards. Joe. Before 
I begin, I'm going to introduce Bryant Carter, who will do the Senior Color Guard Awards. Well, thank God, thank God I'm first, because I don't believe any of these groups are here. Uh, in third place in the Color Guard today was the 2nd Marine Division Color Guard. Is anybody here? No, I didn't think so. Second place was the Weymouth Police Department. Anybody here? And in first place, and the uh, winner of the Thomas McDonald Trophy for the best color guard, Tom McDonald was a long time member of this parade committee and past uh, state commander of the VFW, and the award was named after him, and it's the Weymouth American Legion Post color guard. Thank you. Could I ask for the drum majors and color guard captains of the competing bands to come down, please? Again, when you want to listen. <laughs> in Division One, the award for the best drum major in Division One goes to the drum major of Joseph Case High School. Band front and or color guard goes to the color guard of East Bridgewater High School. percussion score in Division One goes to East Bridgewater High School. <laughs> and the award for the high music score in Division One goes to East Bridgewater High School. place in Division 1 with a score of 81.3, 81.3, Immaculate Heart of Mary. Second place in Division One with a score of 84.1, 84.1, Joseph Case High School. And 
in first place in Division I and in 2006, Division I champions, with a score of 89.0, 89.0, East Bridgewater High School. Also, in, in addition to the first place trophy, East Bridgewater receives a check for $1,000. In Division Two, in Division Two, the award for the best drum major goes to the drum major of New Bedford High School. We'll just continue on. <laughs> the award for the best band front and or color guard goes to the color guard of Douglas High School. <laughs> the award for the high percussion score in Division Two goes to the percussion line of Douglas High School. And the award for the high music score in Division Two goes to New Bedford High School. In, in third place in Division Two, with a score of 87.8, 87.8, David Prouty High School. In second place in Division Two, with a score of 88.4, 88.4, New Bedford High School. <laughs> and in first place with a score of 89.7, 89.7, and the 2006 Division Two champions, Douglas High School. <laughs> Chairman White. Chairman White is also presenting a check for one thousand dollars. In Division Three. In Division Three, the award for the best drum major or drum majors goes to the drum majors of. Weymouth High School. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Grab the trophy. There we go. Just wait. Yeah. Just wait. The award. The award for the best band front and our color guard in Division Three goes to the color guard of Weymouth High School. for the high percussion score in Division Three goes to the percussion line of Bishop Hendrickson High School.
with a high music score in Division Three goes to Weymouth High School. place in Division 3 with a score of 78.2, 78.2, Quincy, North Quincy High Schools. second place in Division 3 with a score of 88.7, 88.7, Bishop Hendrickon High School. Three champions for 2006 with a score of 89.9. Weymouth High School. Also receive a check for one thousand dollars. <coughs> guys, your check, guys. Come back again. Okay. Get a nice little piece of change there. Overall, we have first, second, and third place. In third place, with a score of 89.0, East Bridgewater High School. In second place, with a score of 89.7, Douglas High School. And your, and your overall champions for the 2006 Christmas Festival Parade with a score of 89.9, .9, Weymouth High School. Everybody have a very happy holiday season. Thank you.